Welcome back to the cottage. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of the support, all of the comments. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, if you're finding yourself on my channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Amy. I do big cards daily, Monday through Friday. I do messages for soulmates and separation at times. We basically do something different every day, so we always have something new, always something different. So hit the notification bell button so you don't miss out on anything you might be interested in. We are a space of inclusivity, light, and love. Um, we have positive vibes only here, so if that's the type of environment you feel comfortable in, please pull up a chair and grab yourself a cup of tea, and let's have a talk. We're all friends at my table. So today's reading is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be using a few charms that I have collected over the years. We're going to do a little bit of a charm reading today to go along with your piles. But today's reading is really about... Um, how do they feel currently right now in this connection? How does your person feel? This does not have to be a love reading. I'll preface, preface it with that. Um, it can be about anybody in your life. How are they feeling about you currently? How are they feeling about this connection, about this relationship? We have pile one. We have pile two. And we have pile three. Um, again, I am going to be using some charms with each pile as well. Just It's kind of like, you know, bone casting sort of. I'll be trying that out today. I've been um, collecting charms for a couple of years. So... I pulled out some of them and we're going to be doing that as well. So if you already know which pile is calling out to you, please check the timestamps listed below. Otherwise, sink into your body, pause the video for a moment, and don't overthink it. Just whatever pile is really calling out to you. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile one, you guys. Okay, pile one, all of you who chose the first pile, um, this is how, you're for, how the person you're thinking about, the person you're holding in your mind, is currently feeling about this connection. So we're going to start some with your tarot cards here. We have the four of wands in the reverse. We have the three of swords in the reverse. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the page of wands. We have the four of cups in the reverse. We have the lovers in the reverse position. And for your animal oracles, we have the black egg, the elephant spirit. And for your angel card, we have clear cognizance. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are unanswered prayers. I will be getting um, some clarity messages if need be. Oh, in fact, this one just sort of popped out, so we're going to put that one right there because I have a weird feeling about that. Okay, so group one, what does your person, how do they currently feel um, about this connection? So we're going to start over here with the four of wands in the reverse. And normally the four of wands is about celebration and joy and coming together. But I do feel like in the past, um, this person and yourself have had some discord, have had some problems, maybe some breakups. Um, it's just about leaving home and arguments. And it caused a lot of heartbreak here. The Three of Swords is all about being hurt, being heartbroken. When we see it in the reverse, it's like an apology coming through. So I do feel like saying for some of you guys that your person is apologizing and currently feels like they need to make an apology for some past arguments that may have occurred between you, some hurts that they may have um, caused in the past to you. They just feel like there's an apology that needs to come forward and they do think about that a lot currently they feel pretty secure in this connection they're they, we have here the nine of, of pentacles and she's all about security she's all about abundance you know she's comfortable she's relaxed i feel like your person is really feeling secure in this connection they feel secure with how they feel about you and i do feel like for those of you who are not currently in a relationship with this person they're dreaming about coming forward right now they're thinking about a love offer. They're thinking about bringing forth news for you. They are looking at this offer and they're really studying it. I feel like they're really studying you as well. And the reason why I feel that is because when I was shuffling just a moment ago, the Page of Swords popped out and the Page of Swords is my watcher. And I just feel like for a lot of you, um, group one, that this person, if you're not already in a relationship with them, they are very much aware of you and they are watching your social media 
And I feel like they're watching it very closely. Like for some of you, I feel like they're checking it multiple times a day. They're just like, look at how he's studying those leaves. He doesn't take their eyes. Like this person has a lot of strong, strong feelings towards you right now. Moving into the future though, there is some, like we have here the four of cups in the reverse position. They have a new outlook towards this relationship. When we see the four of cups, it's like apathy and they can't get out of their own heads and, and they can't see what's being offered to them. But here we have movement, like we have <clears throat> just a new direction. It's like they're, they're approaching this, this relationship with you in an entirely new way. And I feel like that's a real nece necessity in this situation. We have the lovers in the reverse. And, and that can mean, you know, breakups and bad choices. Sometimes we, we look at that. With, it means a lot of passion as well, though. I feel a lot of passion in this pile. Um, they're ready to, to approach you in a different way. Because I feel like how they've been approaching you, sorry, in the past has not been working. Um, and they're really trying to make a decision as to how to bring forth another offer for you or to how to bring forth the news for you. I feel like saying for some of you guys, you are not currently, either you weren't in contact and you just recently heard from them or you're not in contact right this moment. And I feel like they're wanting to, to embark on a new relationship with you here with the Page of Wands, but they need to approach it from a different angle. I look at this black egg and when I think of the black egg, I think of something that has been, something precious that is, has been protected, but because it's turned black, it's almost been protected for too long. Like this is a secret that they've been holding on for you. Like they've been holding this, these feelings for you for a really long time and it's taken too long for them to come forward and it's not working out for them. It's not causing any movement in this relationship. Um, I do feel like this is a person that you've known for a while and that they've been holding this flame for a really long time. We see the elephant. It's weathered. It's, it's you know, it's got definitely some intuition. This third eye is opening up. They, they are coming to, into some awareness for you guys, group one, that this is the person that they want to be with. But they've been, they've, what they've been doing in the past to get your attention has not been working. And it's, it's like an expiry date. It's like an expiry date that's gone past its due date, <clears throat> but they can't let that flame go. The elephant never forgets. It's a very wise type of spirit. Um, they do not want to put down the flame and they've been holding it for a really long time. But again, the way they've been approaching this relationship hasn't worked in the past. It hasn't worked in the past. It's caused some heartbreak. It's caused some breakups. It's caused some turmoil and it's caused, um, a situation where they feel like they have to come back and apologize to you, but they don't know how to bring forth that just yet. I'm going to get a few clarifying cards for you guys. What other messages do we have? How are the, is this person currently feeling in this connection? Okay, so we have the hanged man in the reverse position. <clears throat> Sometimes in the reverse position, it can be feeling like a victim. I do feel like saying for some of you, your person kind of feels they're hung up. They don't know how to move forward. Um, and they're kind of feeling a little bit like a victim here um, in this connection right now. That's what I think about when I see the hanged man in the reverse. <clears throat> There's also selfishness there. I feel like your person acknowledging right now, as they're working through these inner thoughts about you, I feel like they're acknowledging that they've been selfish in the past. They've been selfish and it's caused a lot of discord. It's caused a lot of disharmony and it's caused heartbreak and they need to apologize for that um, selfishness that they've, whoops, we have a whole bunch come out. So we'll just <laughs> see what we got. The fool. They would like to embark. I mean, right now in their current state, they just want to start brand new, fresh, new. They want to forget, not necessarily forget the past. Cause again, they can't forget you, but they want to just embark on a brand new beginning with you guys. We have a lot of major arcana here. We have the hanged man. We have the fool. We have the lovers. It's, it's, this is a serious connection. This is not just a, a, a flyby sort of connection. This is a serious one. And they want a brand new start. And they think about it all the time. They're currently thinking about it right now. 
of this brand new love offer, this brand new start that they want to embark with you. What else? Other messages. Whoops. They're currently working on a decision. They're having a problem. And, and here we have both the two. Like we have the two of pentacles in the reverse. We have the two of swords. Um, they're struggling here to, to make a decision. They're, they're struggling to decide how to move forward. Um, there's an inability to commit here with the two of pentacles. And I, I feel like <clears throat> this is like a mirrored energy for some of you. One is in, is, has an inability to commit and the other one, again, has a choice to make, but is having a hard time because there's a blindfold on there. I just feel like they're very overwhelmed by the choice that they have to make right now. They're feeling very overwhelmed. And here we have the seven of swords in the reverse being caught at doing something. They're being, it's just like a sneaky card, but they've been caught at it. So I find it interesting that the being caught card is here with this page of swords that they're watching you. I don't know if they're currently in a, another relationship and they've been caught checking you out online for some of you. But there's also a real energy of being caught for doing something in the past as well that caused a lot of heartbreak that is now sort of giving them a real indecision about how to move forward again in this relationship. It hasn't been working in the past how they've been approaching you. It hasn't worked for them. It's gone bad. <laughs> it's spoiled. Um, but they can't, they cannot put that flame down for you. I'm going to get you guys a couple of, because I feel like this is a love reading. I'm going to give you guys a couple of these messages as well. I don't know how to let you go. Here with the, again, they can't like this, this love that they've had for you has been, they've been holding for you for a, such a long time. They don't even know how to live without having this love on their mind anymore. You have become a habit. Loving you has become a habit for them. They don't know how to let you go. Group one. I've grown up. So here with this, um, a little bit of immaturity here with this, the fool and the page of swords, they're acknowledging that they've grown up from the past, that maybe they're not going to repeat the past mistakes. Again, they've been holding this flame for such a long time. This card has been coming up so much. I missed your laugh. I don't know if someone who's watching my videos has like a really distinctive laugh, but they, somebody's missing you a lot and they're missing your laugh. Ah, I'm watching from the outside here with the page of swords. They are watching you group one. I knew the moment I first saw you. That is a beautiful sentiment. They, again, like they, there is so, there is a lot of love here. Um, but when I think of like the black egg, it's almost like to the point of like obsession has too much time passed as the next card. Have we let this love offer, have I let this love offer go stale? Have I let it go bad in this egg? Like, have I been holding this flame too long without throwing it at you? <laughs> sort of is the feeling I'm getting has too much time passed. Your person wonders. And on the back of the deck here, I know I hurt you. They're acknowledging, again, that apology here with this three of swords in the reverse. They're acknowledging the pain that they caused, being sneaky. They were lying. I feel like they were lying to you. Oh, I'm heartbroken as well, I feel, like taking that one. So your person really does just feel um, upset. And, and, and now with the, with the passage of time, with the ability to look at things objectively, they are realizing what they had. And they're realizing how much they need to apologize to you. But they're also worried that they've waited too long. That they've waited too long. I'm going to get you guys some charms here. Oh, got the shell. Oops, okay. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> One fell on the floor. I will grab it. Interesting, we got two U's. I don't know if that means something to you guys. We have two U's here. Um, could be initials for something. We have a shell. Um, some of you could live in a really nice place with um, Sandy Beach. Maybe you guys traveled with this person as well. We have the pearl. When I see the pearl, I think of pearls of wisdom. I think of gaining perspective. I think about, you know, just gaining knowledge, gaining 
perspective. So that's a very interesting thing to have here. Um, just knowing that they've been working on themselves and gaining perspective. I have a rolling pin. I don't know if some of you work in the food industry, if you guys like to cook. Um, and I have this little stone here. And when I see this stone come up in the reading, I think of, um, I think of the Knight of, of Pentacles because I think of the rose of like the, on the traditional Rider Waite, I think of the rows of the fields in the background, just being really resolute in a task, being willing to put the work in. I feel like this is your person trying to tell you that, you know, they're really willing to make things right. They're willing to, willing to put the work in, in order to make a new beginning with you. This new beginning that they want with the fool here, they're just really willing to put all of the time and effort into this, despite the fact that they've been holding on to these um, feelings for so long. They're just really used, they're, they're ready. They're ready to put in that work. Um, I don't know if some of you have a U initial. Again, the rolling pin, the shelf. Some of you are um, living on the coast. Pearls of wisdom. So those are your charms, guys. So group one, that is your reading of how your person currently feels. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you guys like the charms, um, please let me know. I was thinking about incorporating more of my charms in more of my future videos. So just comment below if you like that. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I do post Monday through Friday and there's always something different. Um, otherwise, I hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number two. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody who choose, chose pile number two. This is your reading for... How do they for currently feel about you in this connection? Let's get cozier. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll start with your tarot. We have the hermit in the reverse. We have the hierophant in the reverse. We have the king of swords. The five of wands. The six of wands. The Four of Swords and the Two of Wands. You guys had an extra card come out, so I'm just going to keep it here. <laughs> For your animal spirit, we have the Owl, the Octopus, and for your Angel card, we have Clear Audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Okay, so let's just take a look here on how does your person feel currently about you. So we'll start over here, excuse me, we'll start over here with the hermit in the reverse. <laughs> so <clears throat> the hermit in the reverse is all about isolation. It's like being, being aware of your mistakes and... Um, being unable to move forward. Um, the hermit holds onto this lamp, this, this holding onto this torch, um, and, and sort of goes inward to really contemplate the big questions in life. When we see it in the reverse position, I just think of like repeating past mistakes, isolation, making yourself isolated. Um, I hear, I see the hierophant in the reverse position. And when I see the hierophant in the reverse, I sometimes think of um, someone who isn't a traditionalist, someone who doesn't necessarily, they go, they dance to the beat of their own drum, essentially. They don't, they don't really play by the rules necessarily laid out in society. Not that they're, not that they're like a criminal or anything, but they just... They're entrepreneurs. They're, they, they come up with their own ideas. But sometimes when I see the Hierophant in the reverse position, I do think of divorce. I do think of major breakups or major breakups of um, major institutions such as marriage. So that may resonate with some of you. It doesn't have to resonate with all of you. Um, I do feel like for some of you, this has been like a breakup of a major union or a divorce. Um, and the King of Swords is a very serious energy. He's serious. He's practical. He is um, situated. I feel like your person is currently he, the very stoic type of feeling with the King of Swords. Logical and there's truth here. There's logic, there's truth. And I feel like your person is just really 
fighting with their own mind right now, fighting with their own mind about their heart over their head. The five of wands is about competition and, and struggles. Conflicts. They're having an inner, and, and the swords are all about mental, about mental energy. So they're having an inner conflict right now. They're trying to use their head, but their heart keeps, the passion that they feel for you just kind of keeps popping up. They're trying to be very logical right now about this connection. Some of you, I feel like they feel like they're competing for you. And they're looking at that competition very seriously. Like they're taking that competition very seriously. And they're willing to fight for you. It's almost like they're coming up with a strategic plan. Like I see this person, it's almost like they're planning something. I feel like they're planning they're planning something for you guys. But they're also here with this Two of Wands, this extra card that popped out. The Two of Wands is about decisions. It's about um, sometimes calling a truce. It's about like they're not knowing what to do. This person is in deep thought. The Hermit is in deep thought. The King of Swords, it looks like they're in deep thought. And here we have the Four of Swords, who is also in deep thought. The Four of Swords is about meditation. Again, it's about mental energy, being mentally exhausted, having to meditate on everything. But there's victory. Victory in the future. They see victory with you. There's, I feel like this person that you're asking about is a really intelligent and logical, grounded person. They could be um, an air sign, but they could also be a... They could have air in their chart because I see so many swords here. Um, but they could also be a, an earth sign because I just feel a lot of practicality with this person and a lot of wisdom. The owl spirit, the octopus spirit, they're all about um, realizations coming to terms with things, opening up your intuition and seeing things for what they are. Um, really intelligent, really, really focused and intelligent. The octopus is such an intelligent creature and they figure out a way to get into or out of any situation. And I feel like that's what your person's doing. They're working on a very solid plan, but they're, they're in decision-making process. I feel like for some of you here with this Claire audience card, that you guys have a lot of um, people around you right now that are giving you advice about this connection. I feel like saying to you that there are people in your life right now that are giving you positive advice, people that are giving you negative advice, and people that are giving you negative advice, negative advice that is clothed as positive advice. And you're just being asked to really um, be aware and take every bit of advice with a grain of salt and because you'll know what's right for your heart. You'll know inside. Your spirit guides will tell you what advice is, is the, the right advice to heed. If it just doesn't feel right, it's not right. Um, and I feel like you guys have, some of you have a lot of people just kind of nattering at you about this connection, maybe asking why you're still even bothering with this person. Maybe they're taking too long to come forward. Maybe you're already in a relationship with them and they're just they aren't as loving as the people in your life think that they should be outwardly. But again, I feel like this person is a very logical, grounded, earthly type of person who is just taking time out right now to focus on what they need to do to get you. They see victory and I don't feel like they are willing to give up either. I feel like they're focused and I feel like they're ready, they're ready to have victory with you. I'm going to pull a few more cards for you guys to see what else we can see. We can any, oops, if we can get any explanation and then I'll do some charms and some extra re, extra messages from my homemade deck. What is this person's current thoughts? Yeah, they, they're wanting to move on into calmer waters with you. Again, so much air energy here. You could be an air sign. I feel very strongly someone is watching is an air sign. Um, they want to move into calmer waters with you. They want success with you. There has been turbulent times between you and this person in the past. And they really want to give you the security and the abundance that they feel like you deserve. They feel like you deserve that. I see celebration as well in the future. Lots of group activities, lots of parties. They dream about like just taking you out and showing you off. 
when they're thinking about the future and like they're in this contemplative space and they think about the, the they think about the triumph and the victory, they think about like celebrating with you. They have not, they, they haven't lost hope. Any other messages, please, spirit? Any other messages? Oops. This is not a, a traditional Rider weight card. It just came as an extra card. But when I think about this, I think about someone, and this may not resonate with for all of you, but I do think of a person who is currently in a relationship or in a family situation who still can't get their mind off of the past or a past. Like they're living in a new life and they're kind of wearing a mask. They have all this, you know, abundance with them but they can't get out of their own head they're this person standing in the background this could also be your energy i feel some of you have moved into a new relationship and despite that it's a good relationship and you feel secure there there's still that there's still something in the back of your mind that won't let go of this person and there's a possessiveness as well so for both of you i feel this is a possess a possessiveness sorry <laughs> a, a real sort of this person belongs to me like we belong together we are we belong together. I'm going to do a few charms for you guys. But I can put them out on because the last time people couldn't really see them. Okay, I'm going to throw a few charms in, <laughs> into this bowl. Well, we got a lot of letters. I'm going to add a few more. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, so we have here like a little guitar. I don't know if that resonates with some of you guys. Um, your person could be very musically inclined. Maybe you guys are, are really, really music. Maybe you guys met while you were guys out celebrating with music. We have this little um, <clears throat> Chewbacca little character. I don't know if I can even, you guys can see that. <laughs> when I think of the Chewbacca character, I think about... I'm um, a person who is um, kind of nerdy. That's what I think about. <laughs> no offense to anyone who loves Star Wars. I'm not calling you a nerd. And being a nerd is actually amazing. I feel like I'm a nerd. Definitely a tarot nerd. So, um, But I feel like somebody who is like really intelligent, kind of um, has a focused interest. <laughs> like some people really love cosplay. Like some people really love, you know, um, Magic the gather Gathering. Some people really love Star Wars. Your person has like a focus maybe, or maybe you have a focus. We have the bell which is just about, you know, paying attention, waking up. Um, and I feel that here with this octopus spirit, just um, something inside of their mind has awakened to this connection. Like they've, they're almost, as much as they are such a, you know, head of the heart type of person, you create a spiritual awakening inside of them. So they're just currently like, they're, they're you know, they're hearing bells and whistles when it comes to you. And we do have some um, letters here. We have G. Y, Z, and F, if those could mean something to you guys as well. So those are your charms. I'll leave those right there. Whoops. And I'll give you guys a couple of these love messages as well. What would your person say if they could, I'm a different person than you remember. So they're, you know, they're trying to tell you that this pain from the past, this six of swords, the pain that they're trying to move away from, that they've changed a little bit. They're, they're more, you know, They've grown up. I knew the first moment I saw you. What other messages? Whoops. Oops, here's another. I've changed. So they're just acknowledging that they've really... It's always been you. Let's see what these ones are. I daydream about you. That's so sweet. They can't get, again, there's a possessiveness there. I'm going to fix everything. As I said, I feel like they are currently working towards formulating a plan to come forward here. They feel like there's competition for you. That's just one. They feel like there's competition. I'm trying to become a better person. So they're really acknowledging here that they've changed, that they're different. They're, tr they're working on themselves. There's a lot of growth happening here a lot of wisdom a lot of you know soul searching and they say they're going to fix everything 
see if there's any here on the bottom that popped out. One more message. Let's give you guys one more message. One more message from your person. No one knows I still think about you. This King of Swords, I'm telling you, they are very, they keep their feelings tight to their chest. They don't tell people how they're feeling. But this person is in it. <laughs> Okay, group two, if that resonated with you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear all the juicy details. Um, if you haven't done so already and you feel called to, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and move on to group three, and I hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody. All of you who chose group three, this is your reading on <clears throat> how do they feel right now? Make it cozy. How do they feel right now about this connection? So we're going to start with your tarot. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. The Eight of Swords in the reverse. The Seven of Wands. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. And the Fool. For your animal cards, we have the Firefly Spirit and the Eagle Spirit. That's interesting. And then for your angel card, we have Overcoming Difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmount surmounting any previous challenges. Okay, so group three, how does your person currently feel about this connection? So we see that page of pentacles starting out the reading. And... There's, they definitely want to come forward with some news. They definitely feel like coming forward with some kind of news. There's an immaturity in that card as well. There's an immaturity with the Page of Pentacles. It's like a young sort of feeling. And I feel like your person has lost a lot of sleep. And they have a lot of anxiety. They could be depressed when they think about this connection. Um... And I feel the, the mental energy is sort of feeling like trapped. The Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped and mentally, like, it's almost like a self-imposed entrapment. Like mentally they've trapped themselves in this connection. When we see the Eight of Swords in the reverse, you know, <clears throat> they have new hope currently. Something has happened currently in this, in this connection that has given them some new hope. Um, but they're acknowledging that that new hope does not come without its obstacles and its challenges. We see the seven of wands here. So while they're they're they've been in this period of anxiety and depression, losing sleep, they've kind of, it's like a self-imposed sort of loss of sleep. They still they're they're optimistically wanting to come forward with some news for you, but they're acknowledging that there's some challenges here that are stopping them. The Knight of Cups, you know, comes galloping in with all the bells and whistles. They're very romantic. They're very charming. But when we see it in the reverse, it's like unrealistic expectations. Your person is really worried that these, this new hope that they have and there's, that there's so many challenges um, stopping this connection from happening that they're losing hope in it, that they, they don't, they're unsure of being able to gallop because they're, I don't know if they're unsure of what your reaction will be. I'm going to get some clarifying cards in a moment, but there's uncertainty. There's a fear. Excuse me. And I feel like saying for some of you, like this person in the past may have been very moody. I don't know why I feel that, but just, <clears throat> but we have the fool card here. And it's interesting that the fool card is the only major arcana that you have in this spread right now. And when we see a major arcana like this pop up, we're asked by spirit to really pay attention to the themes. And so the fool card is telling me that your person really wants a brand new beginning. They're not sure how it's going to work, and they're not even sure. Um, they see that there's obstacles here, but I feel like they want to surmount that. They want to, to overcome any obstacles, despite the fact that they don't know how to move forward right now. They feel like there is a real future here, and they want to just jump into the unknown. We see the firefly and the eagle spirit. And, we, you know, the, the eagle, you think about how proud and how courageous you know the eagles is the epitome of courage 
It's about this person leaping into the unknown, being courageous. It's about, po and the firefly again, the firefly is about possibility. Possibility, I had to look up the firefly, but yeah, freedom, self-illumination as well. Self-illumination and freedom. And the eagle is about stretching your limits. I feel like this whole reading is very, very well put together. Like overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you. You're surmounting any previous challenges. Your person has had some self-illumination. They're being courageous. They see the obstacles, but they don't care. <laughs> like they don't care. They, they sometimes get in their head about it. They sometimes worry about moving forward here with this Knight of Cups. And maybe they're so optimistic about it that some of their expectations are a little bit unrealistic. They do worry about that. But these two animal spirits are telling me that, you, that your person wants to reach for the goals that they know they're capable of. They feel capable of getting you back. They feel capable of... of you know, reigniting this spark. Here we have the five of cups in the reverse. This is like sort of an apology type of feeling. Hope is returning for them. Again, new hope. Hope is returning. The eight of swords is about hope returning. They want out of this energy of um, negativity. They want out of this energy of heartbreak. We have the four of swords in the reverse. Ready to rejoin the world. You know, the Four of Swords is about contemplation. They're ready to act. They're ready to act. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. Um, again, that's kind of an immature sort of feeling. It's kind of an immature type of um, energy. And it kind of reminds me of someone who, oops, excuse me, guys, is not actually ready yet to move into this fool position. I feel like this is a very young energy. I don't know if, if you guys are, are young or this is a young love or this was, I just feel the very, a lot of young energy here. Um, they have anxiety about moving forward. They want to leap, but there's just something that maybe they're not quite ready to act yet. They're just not quite ready. They're, they're, here we have the strength in the reverse. So <clears throat> it's, it's, the strength is about literally inner strength, inner power. When I see it in the reverse, it's like self-doubt. Your person has some self-doubt, but I think that that comes with, um, you know, age as well. Like if this is a young person that we're talking about, there's, there can be self doubt with that because of, um, just lack, lack of experience and just, they're not quite ready. They want it so badly though. They want it so badly. And, and you know, the Eagle spirits all about stretching your limits. Like, I feel like they're going to really, they're going to come forward. And they're going to really stretch their limits in order to get with you. And, and they're going to overcome this fear. Like, tarot is not absolute. They can overcome this fear. I'm going to get you guys a couple of these love messages that I have created. What would they say specifically if they could right this moment? For you okay these should be good <laughs> okay so the first one i'm seeing here is i'm a different person than you remember so if there was some immaturity in the past they're acknowledging that they are that they have grown up i do still see a little bit of you know here with this king of wands in the reverse just not quite ready emotionally but sorry i'm a different person than you remember i want a future with you they're very absolute about that for sure they want to leap into this new life with you. They're ready, but they're, again, they're acknowledging there's some going to be some competition, a little bit of, there's going to be something that's, you know, that's going to stop it from happening right away. They're acknowledging it's going to take a little bit of work. I miss you. Some of you aren't in contact maybe with this person. You are my soulmate. This person feels very strongly connected to you. 
And while I don't see anything in these cards that would indicate a soulmate relationship, I still, they feel like they are your soulmate. I knew the first moment I saw you. They think you are beautiful. And I'm ready to act. They do feel ready to act. They do feel ready to jump into this unknown. They have a little bit of fear holding them back, but they are, they do feel ready. On the back of the deck we have, I daydream about you. So that's very sweet. We're going to get a couple of charms for you guys. I'm going to throw them in this bowl. Yeah, let me know if you guys like the charms. That's spell it. If you guys like the charms. Okay, so if you don't, let me know too. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so here we have the Olaf. And when I see Olaf, I think of innocence. I think of young love. Again, I feel like this is someone you may have known from the past. Someone just an innocent love that maybe hasn't gotten off the ground yet. We have this bell, which reminds me of like illumination, like your, your, your intuition illuminating. I feel like this person is working on growth, soul growth. I feel like they've had some pretty um, huge aha moments, as Oprah would say, when it comes to you. It's just, you know, bells and whistles go off whenever they see you. They feel chained and tethered to you emotionally. And I feel like for some of you, you guys also feel like you guys are, um, that this is a connection that's been chained. This could be like a soulmate connection. Again, they, they acknowledge that they think that you may be their soulmate. Sorry, over here. Um, in this chain, when I see it, I just think of like being tethered to someone emotionally, not being able to let go. We have a flower here. And I don't know if maybe somebody out there's name is Daisy or I think of the month of June when I see these flowers. Um, I see this, I don't know why, but when I see this marble, I think of Japan. <laughs> so if that, I don't know if that resonates with you. Um, I have a, this is actually a Calgary Stampede silver dollar, which is kind of cool from the year of my birth. Actually, it's not from the year. Actually, it's from the year of my birth, 1982. Um, so this has a cowboy on it. It has a cowboy on it. It has, um, and he's roping a calf. <laughs> There's a cowboy on here. It says Calgary on it. I don't know if Calgary is, is something that will resonate with you. Um, I see this, and this is something that's really special to me because my mom gave it to me. Um, it's from the Calgary Spampede. I was born in Calgary. Um, I no longer live in that province, but I was born in Calgary. So this is really precious to me. So this is just something about, like, this gives me the feeling of something precious, something worth something. Your person thinks that you're worth a lot to them like you are like this like in the olden days if you had a silver dollar and you got to go to the silver dollars like if you went to the store with a silver dollar in your hand you'd be a, you'd feel like a millionaire and that's what that just sort of gives me that feeling like I always felt so important when I was a kid and I got to hold this giant worthless <laughs> it's worthless but really it, it, for me it wasn't and this is just how they feel and um, we have some letters here C a U and a J that could have some sort of meaning so those are your charms, guys. You just take a quick look there. Okay, group three, if that resonated with you, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. If you guys like the charms, please uh, let me know, and I will continue doing a few videos here and there with charms. If you don't like them, let me know that too. Um, <clears throat> if this resonated, let me know, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Um, otherwise, I do hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage. Bye, guys.